So hello and welcome to a very special preview of Halo 5 Guardians the Beta. So I'm one of the first people to ever play this game outside of Bungie. I am very, very excited to talk about the game. I got to play it for myself for around two to three hours. So if you guys actually own the Master Chief Collection, you have access to the beta, which starts on the 29th of December, runs all the way to the next year, which is 18th of January 2015, which is very exciting. So this game is, the gameplay you see in the background is obviously very, very new. It's, it's very early sort of alpha gameplay. Um, this gameplay... Won't represent the final game because obviously the game is coming out perhaps the end of next year. I'm not sure, but it's still quite far away yet. So please don't judge it too much. So Halo 5 has actually made a few changes. Uh, one of the first ones is probably the most the biggest change I think I've seen in the game is constant sprinting. Which may sound quite small, but Halo fans are not used to this at all. So you can constantly sprint as much as you want, but you can't replenish the shield when you're sprinting. So say I get hit um, like once maybe with like one bullet it may take like a third of my health my shield the shield will, will not like replenish uh, if i'm sprinting i've got to stop replenish the shield get my health back and then i can continue after that so the second biggest change i think i've noticed was the aiming so it's called a smart scope you press the left trigger to aim you can use any gun to aim which is again oh my god it used to be like just a battle rifle like sniper rifles and a pistol but now it's pretty much any gun you can aim with um, this is described as like being within the HUD almost, so you use Master Chief's HUD to sort of work, or the Spartan's HUD I guess, to sort of uh, literally scope out, but there is a consequence. You can get shot at and the scope will not work, it just won't work at all. So we'll just like go back to that normal view, which is very interesting. I thought, I thought it worked quite well, it's quite fun to use. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good improvement in my, in my opinion. The next thing I'll talk about is called a thrust pack. The thrust pack is used to like dodge, so you press the B button, you can press any direction and sort of dodge. So it's it's very similar to like Call of Duty, but it's a great way of getting out of situations where you can quickly just dodge behind walls, dodge like away from a grenade or something. I think it worked really well. It's a lot of fun to use and it's something a little bit unique as well, which is awesome. So also while you're sprinting, you can do like an epic charge. Um, it's, it's called a Spartan charge. Use the right bumper while you're sprinting, fully charged up, bang into them. It looks, actually looks quite cool. It's like a proper like shoulder barge thing. It's almost like American football, rugby, bang right into them and it just takes away the shield you can finish them off if you want to and it works really well also while you're sprinting you can decide to press the right stick in and do like a nice little slide whoosh, straight into some cover make yourself like a nice small target which is perfect also this is one of the things i thought oh my god this is crazy um ground pound is in like it basically be used by anyone now so that's really awesome so you can press the right stick in when you're like really nice and high you can aim it and go bang but it takes one second to like load up in the air. So you're basically in the air for like one second, which is quite a while to be honest. And it doesn't sound like much, but it is. So you've got to stand in the air for like one second, aim it, bang, and it goes off and kills the target. Almost instantly, I think, as far as I know. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't really find a good opportunity to like use it because I was a bit of, obviously quite a bit of a noob while I was like playing this game, but it could work. Um, professionals apparently use it already, like some like elite people, so it's it's something you should, you should definitely check out it should be in the gameplay as well so that's something to look at also stabilizer stabilizer He's like what what are you going on about stable is that like stabilizers for bikes no um you can now aim while you're in the air so you can literally like hover in the air so you can jump up press the left trigger in and then obviously press the right trigger to shoot but as you press the left trigger in it will sort of stop and sort of hover you can do like a nice little pew obviously you are you are very open open to any sort of side of attack you're like right up in the air you stand out you can be a shot quite easily but it's a great way of sort of getting like above someone and just go bang bang, bang and take them out very nicely this event i played two different modes there's eight of us together eight youtubers all trying to go ham and go crazy and getting a little bit sweaty at times but it's a lot of fun um so we played two different modes uh one was team slayer so four versus four red versus blue of course as you probably already know but I played this new mode, which I think is a new mode anyway. So it's first of five rounds, you have one life. So obviously the last one to survive gets that round. And it's so intense, it's so good though. So we only played on one map, you probably see it in the gameplay. It's like a sort of Tron vibe sort of map. It looks really good. Um, but it's got loads of little, little sort of things you'll notice that you go up to the towers, there's like a battle rifle there, which is key to winning. So you can just get that nice little scope and go bang, 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 and just get like a few headshots and take them out very, very nicely. And it's like there's like a little house on the on the side in the middle it's like a little bridge and it's just like it's it's so well done it's so addictive we played for like that we played that for about an hour and a half literally just that mode constantly over and over again it's so addictive so fun and i cannot seriously i cannot wait for this beta i'm desperate for this beta to come out 
Apparently we're releasing like new maps and stuff every week as well. So the base will come out on the 29th of December. They'll add like a new map the next day, perhaps a new mode. Throughout the beta and just get loads of like feedback and stuff. But the game runs at 60 frames a second, as you probably as you can probably imagine. It's full HD. It looks great. It's got that Halo vibe still. I know it's still got this constant sprinting. The smart scope will be very controversial. But this game is so fun. I, I was we was having so much fun, the dodge. Um also this new like climbing mechanic as well. So you press like A to like jump up. You press A again, it's all climbs up, so you can sort of jump around nicely. The pace is slightly quicker as well. So it's like slow running like you get over like Halo 2 or something. I liked it a lot. It feels good. I cannot wait for the beta. I'm dying for the beta to come out. Comes down the 29th. I'm counting down the days. Cannot wait to play more. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, if you want me to like ask me any questions, I could perhaps do like another video, like a Q&A video or something about what I played. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Share with your friends. This is Halo 5 Guardians. The beta. Game over. Victory.